What if Singapore goes underwater due to climate changes? There is a possibility we become climate refugees. What could this mean? Hello, I'm Helen Kim, an assistant professor of CELSI and Asian School of the Environment. Our study in climate changes, landscape, and human genome population revealed this um, history for our ancestors living in the Malay Peninsula. Um, because of the rapid sea level changes, they forced to migrate out from the land and move into the South Asia. This interdisciplinary study was possible because of the collaboration between CELSI, the Earth Observatory of Singapore, and Asian School of the Environment. So as data scientists, we collect sediment cores like this to reconstruct past sea level through time, which are then important inputs to the geophysical models that my co-authors then use to produce the paleogeographic maps. So what we found in this collaborative research was that the increase in sea level in the past 20, 14,000 years ago, increasing at rates of 45 millimeters per year, were they're the equivalent of what is projected under high-end scenarios for the 21st century. And as in the past that it caused human migrations because of the rising sea levels, there's potential for it to cause similar effects in the future. So the past sea level rose about 130 meters, and now on the Earth, we have the Greenland and Antarctic Ice which has sea level equivalent of about 67 meters. And if we don't take any action from now, we may face what happened in the past. The rapid sea level rise drive human migration and actually change the genetic profile of the population. By combining the population history inferred from genome data, and the history of geography, we are able to show the cause of human migration and ethnic diversity of Southeast Asia. This provides insights into how human genetic profile were impacted by climate change during a time of similar global warming. Our goal is to sequence the genetic fabric of Asia with Asians comprising more than 50% of the world's population. They represent a hugely understudied group in terms of human genetic diversity. One of the special focus of Genome Asia 100K is to also ensure the inclusion of um, native populations and particularly uh, those groups who are currently living under the threat of extinctions and we therefore work with anthropologists and we go through um, collections of uh, blood and other biological samples that have been taken over the past decades and then um, submit them for genomic sequencing so the data from these very rare human groups is also included and will be represented in this um, a database that will eventually represent the entirety of, the, uh, man of mankind. It is very important to understand the genetic ancestry of an individual to optimally um, design a medical treatment for a person in the framework of precision medicine.